This is Biotrack Selling. I'm Lisa and today I'm making as a boat project some masks for the COVID-19 epidemic. Now there are a lot of instructions on YouTube but not all the instructions have ingredients that you can find on a boat and to make an effective mask that not only protects other people from you but protects you from other people there must be a filter in the mask that can prevent viruses from passing through. So if you just use cotton, a washable cotton for your mask, that's not sufficient because cotton is woven and with a woven material um, viruses are so small that they can pass through the threat. Just like this mesh that's holding my yams wouldn't prevent mosquitoes if it had been used for a mosquito screen because they'd be able to pass through the holes. Viruses can pass through the holes in cotton best material would be a HEPA filter. So a HEPA filter would prevent viruses. So if you could put that in the mask that you were making, you'd have an ideal mask that could act as a barrier. Well, we don't have HEPA filters on board, and I don't happen to have sewing elastic on board. So with a few simple materials, I am able to make a mask that will be, I think, fairly protective. And the key is to find a non-woven material as the insert. So what you need is a bonded type material that's not a mesh. And what I've used here is a simple grocery bag. Grocery bags, such as the one I'm showing here, inexpensive grocery bags generally, are made not from a woven material, but from a bonded material. And yet importantly, if you put a piece up to your face, you can breathe through it. So that's important. So the way it works is you take the bonded material, which is breathable, lie it flat, you put this right side up. We're going to pin these towards the inside. Next. I use the hot knife to cut the bungee cord. Uh, most sailboats will have a hot knife on board, so that just means uh, it's not gonna fray at the ends. So we have our guest cabin set up as a desk, which I use as a sewing room. So this is fabulous because I have lots of working space. it towards the corners before I invert it. And just to make the corners really nice, I'm going to um, use my finger or the end of my seam ripper here just to poke in the corners there. So my iron was bought in France. And the only place we have 240 plugs is in the kitchen. This is what it looks like so far. And when I sew around again, it will, the open edge will be sewn up. And then we're gonna make the pleats. And back to the sewing room. There we go. it on. Oh, the elastics are too small for you? Because, oh, your head's a lot bigger. <laughs> so I gotta make the elastics bigger for your head. Oh, it's easy for me to change out the elastic. Yeah. So this fits. That's So what we discovered is that men take a longer elastic. Pierre needs eight and a half inches on each side. The instructions were for seven and I have a smaller head and I need six and a half inches on each side. A modification to give your ears a rest from the elastics is to use a headband with the buttons sewn on and use those for the loops. Mm -hmm. 